aguas y en la fuente se besa. Welcome to volume 64 of the Choreographer on Video. In this video we are going to cover issues 145 and 146. Now to dance the ballroom dances for you, we're very pleased to have once again Warren and Christy to dance for you. Now, you have developed your own dancing very strongly over the years. Can you give us some tips? First of all, what you are now trying to do yourselves and also what would be most useful for everybody else aspiring to reach your level. Well, I think Geoffrey what we're working on right now is, uh, is very applicable to dancers also wishing to achieve the level that we've done so far um, because it's something that, that uh, we're going to continue with all the way through our career and that really is finding out about our own body, finding, paying particular attention to, to the muscles and and uh, their particular activities, really, yes. so that we, we know our own body and we know our own range. Because for us, being a tall couple, w we have the possibilities to have a much greater range and uh, fuller, fuller oh, movement, we have, yes. and we have to fully understand those. That's right. And as you say, I think that is for everybody, isn't it? Really, for all aspiring dancers, it is understanding your own body to get the maximum amount of the rhythm and movements. Thank you. Now, whilst Warren and Christy prepare for the first dance, let me explain the format we will use. First of all, they will dance to the music, and then in an opposite direction to a slow teaching count. Finally, we will break the group down for you, so you can see each individual figure. Now, our first dance is for the hobby class, and it is in the quick step, and you'll find this in issue 145. Here we go with some quite developed movements from the syllabus figures, but the simple rhythm will make it very possible. This time we'll dance to a slow teaching count. Ready? And for slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, 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 slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. We will now dance for you each individual figure. So we break down the group, commencing with the first three steps of the natural turn. Ready? Slow, quick, quick. Four to eight, we dance a turning lock, commencing back on the left foot for the man. And slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. Nine to 13, the running cross chassis. And slow, quick, quick, slow, slow. 14 to 19, the double side cross. And 
slow, quick, 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 slow. And we end with the outside change. And slow, quick, quick, slow. In the second group, we again feature the turning lock with the man dancing the ladies' technique and the lady dancing the man's. So let's take this one through with a slow count. Ready, and quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, 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 quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Let us take a detailed look at the group and we commence with the first three steps of a natural turn. Ready, and slow, quick, quick. Four to seven, a tipple chassis to the right. Ready, and slow, quick, quick, slow. From here, eight to 12, a turning lock to right using the ladies' technique here as man. Ready, and quick, quick, slow, slow, slow. 13 to 15, a quick open reverse. Again, the reverse technique being used. And slow, quick, quick. 16 to 19, a chassis to right. And slow, quick, quick, slow. And we end with the outside change. And slow, quick, quick, slow. The next dance for the hobby class is in the waltz, and you'll find this in issue 146. Here we use a slight change by dancing the first three steps of the natural turn directly into a chassis to the right. So, with our slow count this time, commencing with the natural turn. Ready, and one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, oh, one, two, and three, oh, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, oh, one, two, and three, oh, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three, oh, one, two. 301. Breaking the group down, we commence with the first three steps of the natural turn. Ready? And 3, 1, 2, 3. Now directly through steps 4 to 7, the chassis to the right. And 1, 2, and 3. 8 to 10, a hover to promenade position. And one, two, three. Eleven to thirteen, a wing. And one, two, three. Fourteen to seventeen, a chassis to right commenced outside partner on the left side. And one, two, and three. Eighteen to twenty, an outside change. Ready? And one, two, three. 21 to 23, a curved feather. And 1, 2, 3. 24 to 26, an open impetus turn. And 1, 2, 3, 1. The second group, we're using some figures from the quick step, which have good feeling in the waltz. The Actions, though, most probably make this more suitable for the above gold medal level dancer.
This time, we'll count it through for you so you can feel the rhythm all the way. Ready? One, two, three, oh, 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 one, two, and three, one. Let us look at each individual figure, and we commence with a hesitation change. One, two, three, oh, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three. We continue with steps seven to twelve, a complete reverse turn. And one, two, three, oh, one, two, three. Steps 13 to 15, we've taken the cross swivel action from the quick step, but given a lovely feeling for waltz with the sway change. Ready? And one, two, three. We continue step 16 to 18 with the fishtail action from the quick step. And again, watch the sway change. And one, two, and change three. Great. Now, 19 to 21, we have the hover to promenade position, and one, two, three. And we end with the chassis from promenade position, and one, two, and three, one. Our first group for the advanced dancer you'll find on page 12 in issue 145. Here, we show how the use of the character of the music and the change in rhythm really enhance the syllabus figures. Once more time with our slow teaching count. Ready, and one, two, three, four. Slow, slow. And one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slow, slow, slow. And quick, quick, slow. Quick. Quick, quick and quick, slow and slow, and quick, quick, quick and quick, slow, and quick, quick and. Breaking down the group again, we commence with a four step but remaining square. Ready, and one, two, three, four. Steps five and six, two tango walks. Ready, and. Slow, slow. Step seven is a reverse pivot to give you the start of the snatch reverse turn. Ready, and, and. Eight to 11, a quick chassis to promenade position. And, quick, two, and three. 12 to 16, the big top to a close finish. And, four, five, six, seven, eight. 17 to 20, the fall away reverse turn and slip pivot. And one, two, three, four. 21 to 23, a whisk. And quick, quick, slow. Step 24, the ronde action. Ready? And slow, slow. 25 and 26, the ball change. And, and quick. 27 and 28, we dance through a left lunge into an oversway line. And quick, slow. 29 to 30, we continue with a lunge roll. And quick, quick. 31 to 34, a back lock and hesitation to check. Ready? And quick and quick, slow. 35 to 36, a left whisk, and, and slow. 
37 to 39, we dance in the untwist action. And, and, quick, quick. 40 to 43, the check lock once again. And, quick and quick, slow. And we end with a quick basic reverse turn with a lock in front to start. Ready? And, and, quick, quick, and. The second advanced group you'll find on page 13 in issue 146. We are showing some figures that enhance the body rhythm when at a corner, which is very much a feature of today's advanced dancing. time with our slow teaching count. Ready, and slow, quick, quick, and slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, one, two, three, four, five, six, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, slow. Quick and quick, one, two, three, four, five, six, slow, quick, quick, slow, and quick, quick, slow. Breaking the group down, we commence with a feather finish. Ready, and slow, quick, quick. Now step four is the open toe pivot to make the tumble turn. Ready? And, and. 5 to 13, the extended reverse wave, the three waves. Ready, and. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. 14 to 15, a heel pull. And. Quick, quick. 16 to 19, we dance the rumba cross into a hover cross action, four quicks. Ready, and one, two, three, four. Steps 20, a left side forward swivel. Ready, and slow. Now we're at the corner, steps 21 to 22. We dance strongly forward into a type of left lunge. Ready, and quick, quick. 23, 24, we return once again towards the corner with a fall away position. And slow, slow. Now the man will lead the lady on step 25 by extending to the side with his right foot, and he will lead the lady in this way to a high developé. And slow. 26 to 28, a quick traveling close wing. And Quick and quick. He remains on the toes to dance the reverse weave over steps 29 to 34 on the toes. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Steps 35 to 37. Here we're dancing as a hover to promenade position, or you could do it as an open telemark. Ready? And slow, quick, quick. And we end with a quick close natural telemark. And slow and quick, quick, slow. In our feature training children, we continue in issue 145 with some ideas for the ballroom dances. Here we commence with the waltz. Here we're going to show how dancing in a circle with the boys and girls and the teachers all holding hands, we can develop the feeling of togetherness in the class by all dancing forward and backward change steps. Say four forward and four back. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. 
two, two. Now notice the quite sharp rise here, exaggerating it to show and get the feeling of going up and down to make the waltz action, which we can smooth out later. Now we move on to the rhythm foxtrot and we will use the normal basic eight step pattern in a circle with the teachers again and the children all together. And we just dance the basics first without turn to make it easy. Ready and slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow and rest just there. Now from this position, we can develop into the swing step. That's half a basic, two swings to the side, and a half a basic to end. Ready, and slow, slow, side together, swing, swing, and do it again. Swing, swing, now the backward half, slow, slow, quick, quick. Now just to show how we do with quick step, we use the same pattern as for the rhythm foxtrot, our eight basic steps, but of course that much faster. Again in the circle, make it nice and easy and bouncy. One, two, three, four, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, slow, quick, quick. When the children are comfortable with the rhythm, let's try to dance them together. But first of all, we'd always do it in double hold because we do not want to feel that they are inhibited by being in contact or in the normal hold. So here we go, making quarter turns this time on the rhythm foxtrot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, slow, slow, quick, Quick. And you notice the relaxed style, let the whole body move, let the knees bounce, make it easy all the time as they're dancing in. Thank you. Now back to the waltz once again. Again, taking the children around the room now, and we'll show how the box turn can be used at the corner. So first of all, a change steps to the corner, two box turns to get around, and then change steps out. One. Two, three. One, two, three. Again, notice the very strong rise and fall to make them used to this. Now, very small amounts of turn to get around. There we go. You see, we're completing it over two complete turns and then off into our change steps to the next corner. Now, our next thought is for the quick step. And here, we're not going to dance the rhythm foxtrot. We're going to try to develop them now with normal hold. By this time, perhaps they're more comfortable to become dancing together. And we use still, not contact, but a small gap between. Them. Into the quick step, starting as before, but then moving sideways to go outside. Five, six, seven, eight. Slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, slow. Quick, quick, slow, and stop there. In issue 146, we continue with training children. Here we give some more ballroom ideas, and the Latin ideas will be showing later on. So here we go with our lock steps to create the rise and fall, the straight track into the feet, and the lightness of the footwork. One, two, three, four, one. So we're repeating these until the track and the muscular memory is built in. Good. Now do the same thing back on the left foot to practice the backward locks. One, two, three, four. Now with the heel turns, best thing to do is no turn to start with, just get the shape. Then when they're ready, move on to the next amount, an eighth, the next amount a quarter, then three eighths, then a half. But make sure each amount of turn is satisfactory and balanced in shape before you move on. So here we go. One, two, three. 
three, four, slow, quick, see no turn here, and slow, quick, quick, now we're going to turn eight, slow, quick, quick, slow, and another eight, slow, quick, quick, slow, now quarter, slow, quick, quick, slow, and slow, quick, quick, slow, now three eighths, slow, quick, quick, slow, and again, slow, quick, quick, now finally make a half, slow, quick, quick, slow, and slow, quick, and thank you there. Good, once you have done that in one direction, of course, as in all these exercises, change to the opposite direction. Now for the children to have some fun and to create a different feeling in the dancing, let's try to make a train with all the children in one line and maybe the teacher up in front. And we just use this to develop the slow rise and fall, the beauty of the movement and action of the waltz. So here we go with some change steps. One, two, three, oh, one, two, three, and feel the shaping. Feel the shaping. Now the one in front will run round the back. Keep going. Four, five, six, oh one, two, three, oh one, two, three, oh one, two, three, oh one. And now again, the one in front runs round the back, and we can repeat and continue from there. One, two, three, oh one, two, three, oh one, two and stop right there. Thank you very much. From medalist to competitor is a series of articles in which we show how we develop from one grade to the more advanced level. In issue 146 we show how important it is to have beautiful feet in the standard ballroom line figures. Our first figure is the Obersway. <laughs> So let's have a detailed look at the oversway in the opposite direction, of course. And you'll see here that to enhance the turn out of the second step, Warren will turn his right toe in on step one, but it stays on track, remember. Ready, and one, two. Now you see the strong turn out there, and he is able now to extend the oversway very attractively and create a beautiful leg line and shape which is married through to Christy as she dances her side. The throwaway oversway, the same basic setup position, but we must turn out the foot very strongly as man on two to create the overturn on three. Ready? And one, two, three, one. And you see the beautiful extension of both their legs to give the super throwaway shaping. This time, the hinge. Once again, the man will make the same shape as on the throwaway. He'll use a slight rise through his left knee before he settles the hinge to leave the lady to take her weight back. And one, two, and in behind for the lady. And that beautiful extension matching the man's leg line on the outside edge of the toe. Thank you. Right, now we move on into the right side figures. And now the use of the man's legs and feet very important here. So we want to take the feeling of moving forwards into the lunge, which gives us more body rhythm by the rotation of the knees and hips. So first of all, into the lunge. Now the rotation comes and you see the beautiful extension of the legs, the shaping towards each other 
and it creates a lovely line. Once again, we are going to use the same idea of moving forwards into the lady with the lunge and not just going sideways, but ending to the side through the rotation of knees and hips. So look please at the feet. One, two, three, one. In issue 146, I have described the use of head weight for both man and lady. This is very important to today's dancing. And let's look at the man first of all. Talking about head weight, it's very important for both man and lady to understand how they're using this. So let's take our normal standing position, please, Warren, and you'll see his head weight is vertical over his standing leg, and it will continue this line in his sways. He will not change from that beautiful line of sway to the top of the head, this sway coming out through the knees and hips. But when we move to promenade, it is different. So opening to promenade, first of all, the knees will create slightly the feeling of headline to right, the head weight to the right side, and then over the top with it to feel the head weight to the left to move the body weight into the side step. And there will be that slight rotation now, having moved sideways, he has to move forward, so his headline would be slightly more to the left than in the standing position. Now for the lady. Her normal position is slightly to the left of her vertical line to give that beautiful curve and arc of the body line out to her left side. Now again, if the lady wants to make her movement to promenade, her head weight will make her body and feet move. So she rolls it over the top from that extension to the promenade position. So you see, that's a beautiful, soft, easy action. Now, if you would, please, Christy, dance me an open, natural turn from promenade. You'll see, first of all, the head weight comes over. Now, Christy should be looking straight at you through the camera lens, and you'll notice that she does her three steps and changes as the man comes square to her. One, two, three. There's not a turn of the head. Her nose is pointing straight at you the whole time. It was purely the rotation of the body underneath and the head weight moving from one side to the other. Now on to our Latin American dances. And I'm very pleased to welcome back once again Alex and Lisa to dance for you. Now, Alex and Lisa, I've looked at you with great interest in your recent championship performances and I can see development. What are you actually working on at the moment and what would be your tips to other Latin American couples what is important? What must they develop? Um, well, um, my direction at the moment is actually to strengthen the body action, because um, Latin American, we believe, is, is a very developing towards the body action. So I'm trying to study the original action and develop the central part of my body, which, yes. which is the, the te involves technique, obviously. Yes. Um, I feel the upper body is is developing quite nicely but this is the issue um, the other thing um, the other direction that we're trying to improve is our connection yes. again we're trying not to just connect our body weights we're actually trying to connect body actions together yeah. so there is much more fullness uh, and a feeling between and a feeling you. between yes. us very good yes have you anything to add to that Lisa yes we're also trying to be more partially aware of, yes. of our bodies from our lower spine yes within using obviously the body actions yes. without yes. letting the the posture yes go. Oh, i think they're, they're great tips for everybody in the business that we must be so aware of posture and trying to develop the center muscles to be able to get the separation and the rhythm of the bodies today thank you now whilst alex and lisa prepare for their first dance let me tell you, it's going to be in the Paso Doble for the hobby class, and you'll find this in issue 145 on page 6. As we're featuring a contraposition without hold, I feel this would be more suitable for the above gold medal level.
This time we'll take it through with a slow teaching count. Ready? And one, two, three, four, five and six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, a three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight. Breaking the group down, we'll have a look in detail at each figure. So we commence with an appell into three walks. Ready? And one, two, three, four. From here, steps five to seven, we dance into a lady's sweet action. And five and six. Steps eight and nine are a double appell. Ready? And seven, eight. Ten to eleven, a Spanish line. And one, two, three, four. Twelve to fifteen, three circular walks to close in open position with hold. Ready? And five, six, seven, eight. Sixteen to nineteen, point to the side. Ready? And a one, two, a three, four. Twenty to twenty-two, a slow zigzag. And five, six, seven, hold for eight. Twenty-three to twenty-four, an outside swivel action. And one, two, and now a forward swivel, and three, four. We end with the double chassis to the right, and five, six, and seven, eight. Our second Pasadena group uses some figures from the ballroom dances, but they are particularly useful for the character of this dance. This time with a slow count. Ready? And one, two, three and four, five, six, seven, eight and one, two, three and four, five, six and seven, eight and one, two, three, four, five, six and seven, eight, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Take a look at the group. We commence with a slip appell into a chassis to right. Ready? And one, two, three, and four. Six to eight, an outside change. And five, six, seven. Nine to twelve is a wing with a hesitation. And Eight and one, two. Thirteen to fifteen, a type of reverse wing. And three and four. Sixteen to twenty, a double chassis to promenade position. And five, six and seven, eight. Twenty-one to twenty-five, we dance into a quick appell to a Spanish line. And and one, two, three, four. Twenty-six to thirty, flamenco tap action. And five, six, and seven, eight. Thirty-one to thirty-four, Spanish line from counter promenade position. And one, two, three, four. And we end with a promenade close and chassis. And Five, six, seven, eight. Our second dance for the hobby class dancer is in the rumba, and you'll find this in issue 146. We find this 
an excellent way of introducing the swivels for the lady. Adios, count this one for you. So ready and four, one and a two and three and four and one and a two, three and four, one and a two and three and four and one and a two, three and four, one and a two, a three, a four, a one and a two, three, a four, a one and a two, a three and four, a one and a two and three and four. Let us look at each individual figure this time. So we commence with the first three steps of the basic movement to end in close hold. Ready? And four, one, two, three, four, one. Four to six, three steps of a natural top to end with our feet together. And two, three, four, one. Seven to nine, we dance a Cuban rock. Ready? And two, three, Four, one. Ten to twelve into a fencing check. And two, three, four, one. Thirteen to fifteen. Again, the man will dance the Cuban rock, leading the lady to the hip to his swivels. Ready? And two, three, four, one. Sixteen to eighteen, a spot turn. And two, three, four, one. 19 to 21, we dance into a shoulder to shoulder, and 2, 3, 4, 1, and we end with an underarm turn to right, and 2, 3, 4, 1. The second group in the rumba, we introduce the same foot shadow walks. This time with our slow teaching count. Ready? And four, one, and a two, and three, and four, a one, and a two, and three, and four, and one, and a two, three, and four, one, two, and three, four, one, and a two, three, and four, one, and a two, three, four, one, and a two, three, four, one, and a two, and three, four, one. Breaking the group down, we commence with an alamana from facing position and end with the ladies' rope spin spiral. Ready? And four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Step seven to nine, the man leads the lady to three walks behind him to open counter promenade while he marks time with his left foot, then follows her with the next two walks. Ready? And two, Three, four, one. Ten to thirteen, we dance a syncopated Cuban rock in this shape. And two and three, four, one. Fourteen to seventeen, a fencing check with the lady dancing an extra step to move to shadow position. Ready? And two, three, and four, one. 18 to 23, we dance six shadow walks. Ready, and two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. 24 to 26, the man leads the lady to fan position whilst dancing a syncopated Cuban rock. And two and three, four, one. The first Latin dance for the advanced dancer is the cha-cha-cha, and you'll find this in issue 145. 
we feature characteristic figures like zigzags, hip circles and swivels. This time with our slow count. Ready? And cha cha one, two, three, a cha cha one, two, three, a cha cha one and two, three, four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two and three and four and one, two, three, four and one. Two, three, four, and one. Two and three and four and one. Two, three, four, and one. Breaking the group down, we commence with the basic movement to end in promenade position. Ready? And. Cha cha. One, two, three, four, and one. Six to seven. We dance the ladies' swivels and into a run in promenade position. And two, three, four, and one. Eight to ten, a hinge line. Ready? And. And two, three, four. Eleven to twelve, we come up into tandem position with the lady in a sit line. Ready? And. And one. Step thirteen. Hip circles and two, three, four, one. Fourteen to twenty three, we dance two sets of circular walks and lock steps. And two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. Twenty four to thirty, the lady will dance zigzags as the man untwists in place to end with a spiral action to tandem position. Ready? And two and three and four and one. We continue from here through steps 31 to 33 as a slow forward lock. Ready? And two, three, four. Steps 34 to 35, the ladies turn to the facing position. Ready? And, and one. 36 to 40, the man will hip circle lady, leading the lady into open swivels and then end with a three-step turn to counter promenade position. Ready? And. Two, three, and the turn, four, and one. We now continue steps 41 to 47 with the New York shape with the extra rhythm action into a chassis. Ready? And. Two and three and four and one. And we end with a spot turn. And two, three, four and one. The second advanced group is in the samba, and you'll find this in issue 146. A few bars of solo work can be very effective and also can help develop the speed of foot movement. So, this time with our slow count. Ready? And one, two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight, one, a two, a three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight, a one, a two, three, a four, five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, and three, Four and five are six, seven are eight. 
Let's break the group down for you and see each individual figure. So we commence in this position with a hip circle. Ready? And one, two. Steps two to four, the lady moves into the man. And the three are four. Steps five to seven, the lady dances a runaway action. And five are six. Steps eight to ten, a three-step turn to move into the man. And seven are eight. We now dance a continuous zigzag over steps 11 to 17. Ready? And one, a two, a three, a four. 18 to 20, a three-step turn. And five, a six. 21 to 23, again, the lady is moving with a runaway action. Ready? And seven, a eight. That's a type of fan position on the other leg for the lady, obviously. Step 24 to 27, we dance tap actions. And a one, a two. 28 to 30, spiral of the lady into a right shadow hold. And three, a four. 31 to 36, we dance the reverse rolls and then continue up to step 42. Ready? And five, six, and seven, eight, and one, two, and three, four, and. 43, 45, a rock for the man as a foot change as the lady dances a boat of action. And five, uh, six, and we end with the cruciatus lock for the man and the lady checking forward. And seven, uh, eight. We continue with the Latin American part of the article on training children, which you'll find in issue 146. And we start off with the way of teaching the cha-cha-cha locks. So first of all, let's have a look at lock steps. One, two, three, cha-cha, one, two, and three, cha-cha, one. Now you can add in two walks into the lock steps. Two, three, cha-cha, one. And now for the advanced, let's make continuous locks. Two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. Two and three and four and one. Now, teaching the Sama walk action, the necessary pullback, it is good to start this at full arm stretch or even use a wall. And you will see here that resisting against each other gives the feeling of the Sama walk. And this is rather like an exaggerated stationary walk. And you can use this in promenade now. If we turn to promenade, we feel exactly the same thing with that lovely pullback and the pelvic action that makes up this work. Thank you very much. To answer a request from a member, I described the runaway chassis in the cha-cha-cha in issue 145. So a description of this figure, we dance the first five steps of an open hip twist. Ready? And cha cha one, two, three, cha cha one. Now the lady moves into a spiral turn on three. Ready? And two, three. The man will use his normal basic action, like a crossover or Cuban brake chassis. And the lady does this runaway action. And four and one. The later she turns before the last step, the sharper and more effective it will look. Now, let us show the other ways of doing this. First of all, dance it with the man using a normal side chassis and not the slip chassis. And Cha cha one, two, three. Cha cha one, two, three. 
chapter 1. Another version is to make the step with a ronde chassis. Perhaps if you'll turn your back towards the camera now and look to that corner, yes, thank you, we'll see the ronde chassis from you. Ready? And cha cha one, two, three. Cha cha one, two, three. Cha cha one. Now, for a more advanced version, the man may lunge on step five to give the lady an even larger movement forward and get a difference in his height and also in the activity of the body rhythm. Ready? And cha cha one, two, three. Cha cha one, two, and three. And cha cha one. And there you have the runaway chassis. I was also asked by the same member how the cha-cha-cha chassis itself has developed over the years. And I described the developments in issue 145. Now you will have noticed how the actual chassis has developed a little. There's a lot more body rhythm in it from the rotation of the hips. And perhaps this is what has caused many couples to want to close or nearly close their feet rather than the more open chassis that is still being used. But that was, of course, the very basic of our technique. So this development, just have a look in slow motion how they're using their hips and using a slightly more closed position. Ready? And cha-cha one, two, three. Cha-cha one, two, three. Cha-cha one, two, three. Cha-cha one, two, three. And thank you so much. Good. So you see that has developed very strongly in body rhythm. And so have the lock steps, both forward and backwards. So now if you'd like to show the lock step, we have the normal lock action of the feet and the use of the straightening of the knees, but we're also making sure that the hips are rotating even on the split beats. Ready? And two and three, four and one, two and three, and thank you there. Now let's go backwards, and again, exactly the same thing. Rotation of the hips. Ready? And two and three, a four and one, a two and three, four and one. As usual, we do hope you've enjoyed the video and you will be able to find a lot of use for it in your teaching and your dancing. First of all, I'd like to thank Warren and Christy and Alex and Lisa for all their help and excellent dancing today. To Lindsay Hillier for the use of her studio. To Chris Day of The Real Thing Limited for the production of the video. To Dance Sport International, their staff and management for all their help. And to Casa Musica for the use of all the music we have used today. So until we see you again in about four months time, happy dancing. <laughs>